Styles of Crackalackin. So if you guys didn't know, I've got a little series going on on this channel. I did a video from my 16 to my 18 year old self and when I turned 18, I did a video replying to that video. Then I did a video from my 18 to my 21 year old self and then when I turned 21, I replied to that video. If you wanna find either of those videos, there will be a link at the end of this video or there will be links in the description. But now I'm going to do a video from my 21 year old me to my 23 year old me. I was thinking about doing a video to my 25 year old self instead of my 23 year old self, but I have no idea what the future of YouTube holds for me. So I figured I would do one a bit sooner. <laughs> the goals slash questions I have set for myself are pretty high, but I went above and beyond between 18 and 21 in regards to my goals. So hopefully it'll go even better this time around. We'll see how it goes. So hey, 23 year old Bethan, I feel like these next two years are gonna pass very quickly, I have been told. My first kind of goal-like thing is to sign a label or do something significant musically independently. If you can make it out there independently, amazing, but if not signing to a label of some kind is probably a good direction to go if you can. You are releasing your third EP type thing in mid 2017, which is really, really exciting. It doesn't have a title yet and you only have three songs set in stone. So let's see how that goes. The second goal is to sell out a show to 500 people. You went on your first ever headline tour at the beginning of 2015. And I think London sold out at 250 with guest list. So that's pretty good. That is a lot of people and I feel like probably cry. Thirdly is visit Japan and South Korea. I feel like you're probably going to do that this year anyway. You've been talking about it for way too long. It's time to get into action and go to Japan and South Korea. Next one is tour Europe. I feel like that is easily done if you can get on a support tour of some kind. You haven't been to a lot of places in Europe. You need to go visit Europe. You are in your prime. Stop chewing the insides of your mouth and around your nails. If you guys didn't know, I've kind of got a thing. It might be dermatophagia because that is a thing that explains what I do. I basically bite the skin around my nails and inside of my mouth and it is not attractive walking around going like, mm. Mm -mm -mm. And it's something you need to hurry up and grow out of because it has been your entire life. You are, you're an adult now. Present or go on a big show. I am really thrilled about how far we have come. You present two shows and four music at the moment. You've been interviewed on the BBC. You've been interviewed on MTV. I feel like if you can make even more of a milestone in the presenting thing, that would be incredible. Do some radio presenting. I think even if you start off small, just like gaining your confidence, you know, getting better at talking under pressure would be really, really good for you. How you take steps into further career like adult things. Become stronger and do pole dancing. I really really hope you've carried on pole dancing. You've been a little sloppy these last couple of months because obviously work gets in the way la la la. You have a pole in your house please just do it. Just get a bit stronger. You could be a little bit more elegant, a little bit more graceful. It would be interesting to see what pole moves you can do now and how you have like integrated that into your life. Move back to London. In the next two years, I really hope you have moved back to London because you do really love it there, but also you really, really love this home. If it isn't the right time, I will not judge you, but I'm kind of hoping at this point, you are so busy in London, you had to move back. Like that's, that's the hope. But if not, I really, really hope you're happy where you are and where you live and all of those things. But even if you have stayed here, I don't blame you. I've nearly been in this house a year now and I'm absolutely in love with it. The next question I've got for you, which is not a be and end all, I was just curious, have you found love? And is the type of guys you're going for still the same? I'm just generally curious because you have had a pretty rubbish 2016 in regards to dating and at this point you said to yourself you've kind of given up. If not, I hope you're madly independent and happy. Like if you're not in a thing that you're happy in already, it just doesn't matter. Look, if you chill, everything's fine. Hopefully you have found a fix to your cervix problem. Side note to everyone else, this is gonna be really, really confusing if you haven't seen the video. So if you wanna know what I'm talking about cervix wise, look in the description, there is a video talking about my health problem thing. You found a fix for about six months and then the problems start happening again, more painful sex, more bleeding, none of it is good. <laughs> you're gonna go back to the doctor soon and hopefully you will find a fix. Hopefully your vagina just stops like breaking at some point. That would be really, really good. Be happy with your body. Find the right balance between healthy eating and exercise. I really hope you found that. At the moment, Christmas has rolled around. So obviously I haven't been to the gym in about a month and a half because I do this every year. You are already back on track with your healthy eating and it's not even New Year's Eve yet. And I'm sure you will start exercising and turning up a little bit again soon. I hope eventually it just naturally becomes a part of your life and you don't even think about it. Love your body either way. You've had some problems. 
you need to chill out. <laughs> have a show where I interview artists about actual music. Something I have really found interesting is how little there is of shows that are actually asking artists about their music. Like, why did you choose this particular line in a song? Like, why did you decide to do this? Like, I have so many questions for artists and unfortunately, most of the time when I do get to interview them, I'm never allowed to ask my own questions. I would really love it if I'm either able to have a show on something television-wise or even a segment on my YouTube channel where I'm able to interview artists. I have already got so many questions for so many different artists. At the moment, you're really, really super, super psyched about The weekend, and you're also super psyched about the 1975. Get better at home demoing and producing. I'm really, really fortunate that I have a lot of friends that do like this sort of thing and have given me tips along the way. I want you to find out some things for yourself. Hopefully you've gotten better at making covers and demos for going into like the studio with later on. This would just be really, really beneficial to your writing process and how you create music. Finally, and most importantly, I really, really hope you're happy. Your mental health has been up and down. You recently bought this thing called the five minute journal. It'd be really cool if you could get into meditation, maybe read some books about life. Like, I really want you to focus on being the best person that you can be and also the happiest person you can be. You have so much to be thankful for. You're incredibly lucky to be blessed with such amazing family and friends and being able to get to do what you want to do in your life. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You should get a response to that in two years. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video, which will probably be like next week. Okay, bye guys.